all right everyone here we are with ticker symbol nndm nano dimensions and before we jump into this chart i want to say welcome to all the first time viewers and investors welcome to the channel invest for tomorrow to all the subscribers welcome back and as we jump into this chart i do want every single investor and viewer to be aware that towards the end of this video there's a short clip from yesterday's video if you haven't had a chance to watch it where i talk about how i pick stocks and I really want every single investor and viewer to come across this video at least once. Now, if you can't watch the full video, stay tuned till the end because there's a short clip about this video towards the end of it. And we're going to look at some ticker symbols that we've mentioned in the last couple of weeks leading up to this point and how they've reacted in the upside up to $10 per share, right? On each of them. Now, in this video, it's a welcoming video to all first time viewers and a must watch to all subscribers. I want every single subscriber to at least once see this or at least the short clip towards the end of this video so you can know how intentional I am about sharing these ticker symbols towards the end of the videos and a lot of people are overlooking it and I don't want any single investor to miss out on opportunities, the knowledge and enlightenment that I'm sharing with every single viewer. So stay tuned for that. So here we are with Nano Dimensions moving slightly sideways right but it touched a new low today which is very interesting here at this point right lowest point here was 1419 we want to keep that in mind moving forward so let's see how arc has reacted so arc invest yesterday in arc w had four million four hundred and forty four thousand five hundred and seventy four shares well from yesterday to today right and arc w they have four million five hundred and four thousand nine hundred and twenty two and to show you guys yesterday that was the fourth and today is the fifth so they went up by a total amount of sixty thousand shares here with arc w now from yesterday to today right yesterday two four today's two five on arc q they went from seven million 5,747 shares to 7,182,363. So when you do the math, they have bought over 180,000 shares. Well, actually more than 180,000 shares, a total amount of almost 240,000 shares in total here with these purchases. So they're being very bold now. Like they were like shaving off and so forth. And now they're like loading up again. And now it's moving sideways. Either they're seeing an opportunity or they're kind of understanding a little bit more what Nano Dimensions is trying to do with the merger. And then also the vote is coming up and they're not too scared about it anymore. Or they just believe that these prices are phenomenal right now because there's so much more upside anyways in the near term or in the long term so loading up over 200,000 shares is a pretty bold statement here from ARK Invest and it was interesting to see them unload in the last couple of days for the first time in months but here we are with them continuing those bold statements loading up on shares so our support level here is 1452 current price per share is 14.90 so if this gets closer to support and it gets broken through the next point would be down here at that low that we mentioned earlier and right now it's showing 14.19 14.20 give or take now if this gets broken through you want to watch carefully how the stock is reacting how quickly is it moving to newer lows or are the bulls trying to reappear and bring this back up super important for every single investor to be aware of that now there's some momentum that has built here after hours and the 50 day moving average is 1502. That's what the bulls really want to break through. That's their true goal. Now our resistance level here is not that far above the 50 day moving average. And if the bulls accomplish this, they're pulling further away from the 50 day moving average and they can work their way up to newer highs and new resistance levels. So the bulls definitely want to break through this resistance of 1516, turn it into a support and work their way up to newer highs. So I want every single investor and viewer to be aware that this resistance level must be broken through for the bulls to start gaining some leverage and momentum 
upwards and pull further away from the 50 day moving average. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community and stay tuned till the end because there's a lot of information I want you guys to not miss and I want every single investor and viewer to be aware of. And smash that like button if you found value and you found this video helpful. Thank you. All right, everyone, welcome to another video here with invest for tomorrow. And I hope that from this video, you guys all learned something new. And this is a video to confirm to you guys my intentionality when I share ticker symbols towards the end of every video and every single day. Now, every first time viewer coming across the channel, this is also a welcome video to every single viewer and to every subscriber welcoming you guys back okay so i want you guys to be aware that this is a welcome video and also a video so that you guys know my purpose and goal here with the youtube channel to help every single viewer and investor maximize profits and minimize losses now i'm very intentional on that but i'm not guaranteeing you guys that you're going to maximize profits or even minimize losses but i am here to share with you guys opportunities and i'm not here to tell you guys to buy sell or hold any positions on any of the videos or ticker symbols that I talk about. I'm just here to enlighten you guys and share with you guys knowledge and things that I come across because when we're all caught up in the hype, we forget about that the stock market isn't just 10 ticker symbols. It's not just 20 ticker symbols. It's 7,000 different ticker symbols and they're all doing something different and growing at different rates. So this is one of them that I talked about in a video and I've realized that when I do individual videos, they get overlooked. And even when I'm talking about them towards the end of the video, because when you're focused on just looking for the ticker symbol and the chart analysis and the due diligence that you want as an investor, I completely get it. We're tight on time and we want to do as much research as we can for the next trading day. But you guys are sometimes overlooking opportunities. So I really am here to, vocalize my intentionality, my purpose, my goal, and why I do this for you guys, okay? I want every single investor to know that I'm passing on an enlightenment to everyone, okay? I wanna enlighten everyone on certain ticker symbols that everyone's overlooking, and then I'm seeing potential. And it's usually opportunities. I'm not gonna hit home runs every single time, but for the most part, they usually move up because of different reasons. So American Well is a company that has to do with telehealth. That's revolutionizing. So that's just the summarization of this company. You have to do further due diligence. And I want to kind of make this a quick and short video. I talked about it here. It fell lower. I said we needed to watch for a pullback and it did. And it ran all the way up to $43. So even if you cut it at the peak of when I talked about it, it still was up $13. If you cut it at the bottom, it was up $18 almost. So very interesting stuff. Now, the other one that I talked about in conjunction with this one in the same video is ALGM. And this is another ticker symbol that when I talked about it was at 24, hit a peak here of $34, fell back down, and now it's running back up to 31. Now, you need to look at what's your position and what's your purpose with any ticker symbol. Is it a short-term goal or a long-term goal? If you're long, I talked here and I reiterated, this could be an opportunity to get out and just go ahead and cut those small losses here of profits and cut out with the small profits that you already got per share. Or you load up on more because you're going to ride this to the next newer levels and resistance levels if you believe in the company. Obviously, you have to do your due diligence, but this is in the automotive industry, working with sensors and autonomous driving. That's a big deal moving forward, right? So... Another